everyone. I'm going to take you down the whois.ican.org rabbit hole. So it doesn't matter which search engine you use, uh, you'll find a lot of valuable information that you can plug into this Whois website. So what I did was I typed in nicotine replacement uh, into Yahoo, and I came up with the two with two of the top five searches. One was from WebMD, and one was from the American Cancer Society. So. The reason that this I can this who is search is going to help you is what you can do is you grab the basic you don't need all of the information afterwards just grab the W's come here paste it in and it's going to ask you to validate that you are a person and what we're going to learn is it, where, where it is, all the background information that we can do a further search. But, but the big thing is let's go down here and see who runs the website. Well, the, the group that runs the website is Network Solutions. So we can go and figure out who Network Solutions are. And when I did that, uh, I found out that Network Solutions is a group that actually just gives you web addresses, kind of like GoDaddy. They're impartial. You pay Network Solutions to give you a domain name and a website. Okay, well, that's interesting. Fair enough. So, but when I go to WebMD, which, you know, is a, which is, everybody comes to WebMD and says, oh, well, you know, it's run by doctors. It must be a thing. So when I search for WebMD through the, the database here, I discovered that they are run by a company called MarkMonitor.com. So if I check out who is Mark Monitor, they're protecting digital brands in the digital world. Mark Monitor is a brand protection company. I mean, look at their clientele, Snap-on, River Island, Nissan. These are all big Fortune 100 companies. So WebMD is a Fortune 100 company that has its website run by a group of people who protect brands, as opposed to the American Cancer Society, which pays a network solutions to give them a web address and a domain name, which means this company does nothing other than run it. And this group, Mark Monitor, actually tells you a little bit more about what that is. Well, that's that's weird. So that means Mark that that to me says WebMD is for profit. So I went to start page, which is a search engine. I just typed in the words WebMD for profit. And again, there's a ton of sources. But, but now I'm, you know, Wikipedia is never valid. But so I just started clicking on things because I was like, oh, well, look, this is Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal. Uh, you know, all, uh, again, most people don't go past the first page. And you should, but most people don't. You can see there's eight or more pages of information. But I'm just grabbing off the front page because that's what most people do. So when I went to this article from Time Magazine here, uh, Mayo Clinic versus WebMD and other perspectives. So I checked this person out. Mia, uh, I'm not going to say her last name. And, and so what I learned is she's a neuroscience journalist and author of this, this book. Okay, so she's written a book. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that all books are valid, so let's do a quick search of her. Well, it looks like she works for the Huffington Post. It looks like she works for uh, Time Magazine, which are both pretty valid sources. But let's check out her book. And that's just we can just go right from right from the horse's mouth, as it were, right from her own webpage and see, well, who put this book out? Was it self-published? Is it Vanity Press? What is it? So we can come down here in Amazon and check out, oh, St. Martin's Press. Well, that's a valid, uh, they're a national and international publishing company. This isn't some Vanity Press. This isn't she self-published a book. So this is, means it's gone through editorial process. It's gone through peer reviewing. So she sounds pretty valid. Right. So so we can go further and further down the rabbit hole and we can check out this person, Virginia Heffernan, which is the person that she's mentioning here. And we can we can click on this and we can go to Virginia Heffernan's New York Times piece and then we can check out who Virginia Heffernan is. And, and digging into her, you'll actually discover that she is uh, she has a Ph.D. in English literature and she's a media critic. And so she's pretty valid. Plus, again, the New York Times Magazine. This isn't the New York Times editorial page. It's the New York Times Magazine, which means it's gone through the editorial process. It's been fact-checked. So you've got Time Magazine, St. Martin's Press, and the New York Times Magazine all essentially saying that WebMD is for profit and they're not out for your best interest. So what does that tell us? It tells us WebMD is not a valid source. And it all started right here. Okay? So... Use this tool to dig further.